I want to show you how you can cancel a print job before it gets too far that you start printing off a bunch of blank pages and you could say well duh just don't open up the report and if there's blank pages then don't print it. What I'm going off of is the parameter that we learned in an earlier training video on parameter queries and remember you can base reports upon queries. So I've got my customer orders query that when I double click on it it's going to prompt me for those parameters like the start date, the end date, and the name of the company that we made, hopefully made sales in between those two dates. And if there's nothing there, I can create a macro message that says there's no orders during specified period. Now that's for the query, but remember we can base reports upon queries. So when I double click on this, it's going to ask me for the same parameters. So before I get too far, if there's nothing in there, after I type in the start date, end date for a client or a company, then we can have that message. Let's just go ahead and do a sample here of 1 slash 1 slash 08 and 3 slash 31 slash 08 and then Camp Spruce hit enter and there's my report between those two dates the orders for the period of January 1st through March 31st I got a total of four so it does work and also it works the other way that if I let's close out double click on it again and I type in dates that contains no sales from that client like hit enter click to zoom in there's nothing there so you can save yourself the trouble of trying to like figure out I mean in the split second or if you got automated to just start printing the moment after you enter in your parameters we can just go ahead and cancel that print job and have a prompt that says hey there's nothing here try again so let's go ahead and close out of here and to do this we want to open up the report in design view right click on the report go to the design view and we want to bring up the property sheet for the entire report and you can do that by double clicking off in the gray area here selection types for the report and we're looking on the event tab and I'm looking at the field right here on no data so if nothing pulls up well let's go ahead and write this macro come over here click on the build button macro builder it's selected click OK and then what we want to do is when there's nothing there we want to have a message so message there we go message box hit the tab key and the message will be and then we can have a beep of course and then the type it's critical no we could say it's informational and then the title we could just say it's our sales no sales during that specified period for that client and then what we want to do after that is that we want to cancel the event so that means that they can't generate the report so let's do cancel there we go cancel event and of course you can add comments to explain what you're doing here if you want to go ahead and type in a comment tab key and say so don't generate report if there's no data on load cancel event. So we can use that one just to go above cancel event. And then we can add another comment. That hits the tab key and it says message to user that there's no data. And you can click and drag that and put it right up at the top there. Close out. And let's see, let's go ahead and do collapse all. So the message to the user, there's no data. That's the message box. And then don't generate report, cancel the event. Let's go ahead and click save, close out of here, and it's an embedded macro proprietary to just this report. Let's go ahead and click save, and then let's right click and run this thing. Go to print preview, and let's enter in a date range where there's nothing there. So, hey, there we go. The sales, it's informational, no orders during specified period. Click okie dokie, and we're done. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.